Good evening, friends. Welcome to your own channel IES. Friends, today's date is 15th of June 2020, and time is around 7:32 in the evening. Uh, friend, in today's video, we will talk about the trade that we took today. And uh, if you remember, in the last uh, trading session, which was on Friday, Nifty opened somewhere here, and it made a movement of almost four percent. If you will see on that day and when this type of movements come then next day or in the next trading session the expected behavior is that today nifty will reduce the volatility and it will go sideways so now when it opened in the morning we saw that it tried to go up but it didn't sustain there and came down and after that it made a beautiful zigzag over here and fell down okay now this was the important level which was taken and uh, if you will see this range, this range was 9753 and 9731.50. So this was the range where it was expected that Nifty might see the reaction. That if it will give any reaction, then only we will think that okay, this might convert into a support. And if you will see in the last trading session as well, Nifty hit this level, it tried to fell down and it went up. And then again it converted it into support and you can see how beautifully it converted this into support and went up okay so now when it fell down then it tried it hit this level it went up came down again went up and over here it stopped falling and went up so we you can see that how beautiful it was okay now the stock which we traded today was maruti and the reason was that all the peer stock of auto sector were trading about a significant level but maruti was maruti just hit that level and it closed below okay so i was expecting that if maruti will take support and if it will try to go up then we can have a better or healthy risk to reward and obviously we will be getting it at the lower levels okay now if you will see that uh, the last trading session of maruti so it when it was going up it tried to fell from this level so it when it was going up then it tried to you know sellers tried to came and they tried to you know uh, form this trajectory okay so we can say that this could be an important range for maruti today and also the significant candle is also somewhere here okay so this which this range uh, this uh, significant candle is also falling into this range now i am deleting this so that th this will not uh, create any hotspots and i am just uh, deleting this line so this was the range now see uh, maruti opened somewhere here it tried to came down went up and it hit this level as soon as it hit this level it went up but since the market was not trending so obviously it was expected that it will come back and if it is a support it will try to convert it into a support so if you will see this was the support again nifty came and here it tried to form a resistance so let me delete this line and it tried to convert it into support and over here it formed a resistance and it broke it on the upside so exactly this level was 5427 so i will mark this as 5427 so this was the level now 5427 was the resistance it hit it broke this resistance and converted into support and went up so this was the entry point for maruti and if you will see around this time 1215 this was around 1250 nifty was also behaving somewhat like this only that it is trying to convert it into a support okay now and if you will see auto sector auto sector was also behaving the same now from here it was uh, it started moving up so i put a target of this level which was around 5602 okay so and uh, this was the you know uh, stop loss for the day 5389 okay so it tried to go up go up and over here if you will see it tried to form the resistance and but i didn't made an exit today because i knew that uh, nifty is going up and it might go and it might create a new intraday high but it didn't do that it fell sharply into this and when it was around 
230. So if you will see, this was 230, Nifty, uh, sorry, Maruti also fell. Then it was obvious that it might not go up today because the time is about to over and I made an exit at this level. Why? Because this was the resistance which was clearly formed over here and obviously it, uh, you know, increased the volume on the sell side as well. Okay. So, it will go and it will convert it into resistance, it will fall and this is how I made an exit into this top. Okay. And uh, so, if you will see the entry was around 5427 and the exit was 5558. So, though, uh, uh, it didn't, you know, uh, give it didn't give us our target but yes it was a significant movement which clearly visible which was clearly visible during the trading session so this is how we traded today and uh, we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care